there was a sense of patriotic duty when I decided to join the military just to earn all the blessings that we receive here. Military was in my blood. I absolutely felt that growing up. As a pilot, I had two deployments, and we were doing good stuff over there, so it was kind of a feeling of success and actually doing something to win. We'd go several days in a row, pretty much like clockwork. We had the whole routine down. But leading into my last mission, you know, you get some nights in Afghanistan when the moon's not out. And so, I mean, it's, it's, it's like going into a closet in the middle of your house at night and just closing the doors. And it was being as dark as it was, it's just, there's not really depth perception. And, and so as the flight lead, I had to double check the map and everything, make sure we were on time. And so I remember looking down and I went to go and hit the radio and we, we just essentially we just descended into the ground. It was within 24 hours, and I had a call from the doctor. They said, your husband was in a helicopter crash, lower extremity paralysis, was in complete shock, like, oh my God. You know, because we had three small kids. You know, I thought the worst and hoped for the best. The whole being paralyzed, the crash, guys dying, it, um, it, was, it was a lot. I think it really hit um, our youngest one, and the first thing he said when he came into the room, he, crying. He said, now you can't play soccer with me anymore. That was our thing. That was kind of, that was where it really, really kind of just hit you. And, and then as you go through your day-to-day -day activities, you start seeing what everything else is. And started getting frustrated with my own inability to do things. It was easier to kind of run from it than confront it head on. You know, whether you're the person in the military or the spouse, it's not easy. <laughs> I've always had a passion for shooting and I've been blessed to now have this career as a pro shooter. It opened a lot of doors for me and it gave me a whole new support group to help me in my recovery. So this year I learned that Infinite Hero is giving me this iBot wheelchair. And so I'm really excited about it because I'll be able to use that in the house. I do all the cooking. Um, that's why I'm not, um, that's why I'm not super skinny, but it'll give me that independence. It'll give me the chance to climb stairs, which I'm really excited about. Being able to get around in rough terrain outside and whatnot, big curves. I mean, this will give me the opportunity to do things like go to the bar with my friends, you know, and, and, and instead of having to sit at a table away from them, I can come up and just be eye level and be one of the guys again, you know? And, and so anything that gives me a better chance of being independent, that, that's a win. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Didn't it so far? Pretty sweet how tight that goes. <laughs> Watch this. Welcome, medically retired in 2011, Trevor Baucom. Continuing to get out there in competitive shooting, travels, competes in shooting matches around the country, showing individuals that there is nothing that will stop them as long as the mind continues to drive you forward. On behalf of Infinite Hero, congratulations to receiving these iBots. Well deserved, and uh, please give them a round of applause. I didn't have any idea this is what I'd be getting into, but it worked out well for me and it introduced me to a whole new group of people that turned into a really good support network for me. This thing is narrower, it's faster, it gives me better stability. Shoot on the move upright and I can do it at a much quicker pace. How was it? I had a great time. I think the fact that Infinite Heroes is actually reaching out and trying to put these things in veterans' hands, it speaks volumes for what they are and what they do. 
They're trying to help everybody improve their life, and so it's pretty cool. Freedom for everything outside, getting around shooting matches. I'm pretty excited about the opportunity to try this out on the town.